here to talk about something kind of fun. <laughs> Very fun. Yeah. Very fun. Okay, very fun. <laughs> I just typed into Google here. I typed fetishes. And the first thing that pops up is what is a fetish? <laughs> it says fetish involves arousal to an inanimate object or a specific target. Which I think is the weirdest phrase in the whole entire world. Yeah, we could, uh, but it's okay. kind of weird. Okay. So today we wanted to dive into fetishes. Well, actually that doesn't make sense though. Yeah? Okay. Or a specific what, what, target. Right, what's the first, <laughs> what's the first like, type of fetish that comes from your head? Um, leather. What is that? An I guess it's an, an object. object. Yeah. yeah so makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. I guess it does make sense. There's also this thing that pops up here. Um, it says a fetishes is an object believed to have supernatural powers. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so it's some type of religion. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a man-made object that has power over others. So if you think about it, a lot of objects have power over others. Just especially like the first thing that pops in my head is just like TV. Or cheese. Or cheese, because cheese is so good. You know what would make this better? He would have some cheese. <laughs> I guess. But those are both two definitions that I wouldn't necessarily think to describe a fetish, but they make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any fetishes? Do I have any fetishes? Who, me? Hmm? What? I'm sure I do. What are they? Give us one. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm good. No? Okay. <laughs> Why would she say that? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so we just clicked on this link and it has 37 fetishes. I'm sure we probably won't go through all of these, but um, there's a couple of them that I've never even heard of before, and I'm super excited. Okay, let's get into it. Yeah. Let's get into it. Oh my god, okay, so for the first one, <laughs> how do you think you pronounce that? Um, I don't know, I have no idea. Killsmophilia. All right, guys. This yeah. one's kind of gross. I'm pretty sure she got it right. Okay. <laughs> it's um, people that find enemas arousing. Now can we pause record scratch? Which is um, something that helps you poop. <laughs> so what do you think they're getting aroused by? The pooping or the goddamn? <laughs> no, I think it's the knowledge that their bowels are getting cleaned. Yeah, that's what it says here. It's super weird. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would have never thought of that. I don't know. I feel like that's very. I mean, you should clean your own baths. <laughs> I mean, I always feel uh, yeah. pretty uh pretty good after I, you know. Yeah. Number two, but I never got a warning or nothing. Like yeah. That. <laughs> it never was a sexual experience for me. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> another one is nylons. Nylon, nylon, nylon. Yeah. That's a fun word to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of like in the olden days where um, even people who didn't have nylons, like my grandma, she used to draw a Your line. Your grandma was a nylon? No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a nylon is? A light yarn. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Um, tights. Oh, like uh. Yeah, like it could it could be anything from just like sheer tights to like um fishnets. Interesting. Yeah, or the, some have all number designs and there's like skin tones. Um, everything. Mm, it's alright. I'm not ever gonna ask somebody to wear it. It's cool, yeah. I guess. Yeah. You better not ever ask me to wear it. <laughs> no, no. No, no. I'm good. But it, it kind of makes me think because like even back in the olden days, if if you didn't have enough money to wear nylons, you would still draw a line on you to show that you had nylons on. Um, Isn't that like uh, the 
with stockings? Yeah, stockings. It's the, kind of the same thing. Okay, okay. That's yeah. Good. That's good. Yeah. Let's find some wine. Some some blouse. Some blouse. Wax. <laughs> People know about that. Yeah, but I don't know. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> well, I guess it can be. Yeah. You know. But you do see it all over television. Yeah, it's like one of the main yeah. ones. You know, they be. In the comedies, they be pouring it and then they be ah ah, or then you have <laughs> some people that actually like you know can tolerate it. So yeah, yeah. it's kind of interesting concept. Yeah, I, I think I like, definitely the only one of professionals to do that to me because I don't know. You don't like it, friend? Yeah, so uh. I be pretty painful. Mm. Got bondage on here. Age play. What's that? What is that? Age play is a kind of fetish that involves exchanging of power. In this activity, partners will play and act like they're different ages from what they actually are. Mm, so it's a type of role play. Okay. Yeah. Except for there being an adult and a baby cared for like an infant or a young child. Mm, okay. Oh, okay. that's interesting. Okay, so... I don't know if I would want to be drinking a baby. So, so from what I'm seeing, it could, you know, it could be just like somebody <clears throat> just wanting to be a little more dominant, or it could just be extreme where, yeah. <laughs> or you literally, rock out, rock out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, uh, which I think, I mean, yeah, it could be both, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a little that's a little age play for the last. Mm. Alright. Oh, so I knew this was a thing, but I didn't know it was called this. Pyrophilia? Pyro. Pyro. Yeah, I think it's something. Cry cry Q U I R O and then Philia. Um, is known as the hand fetish. Oh, that's why you know, it was a thing. Cause yeah. You are a viral fetish. Whatever. I like nice. hands. I think nice. they're beautiful. I don't know if it just has to do with like <laughs> what they can do, <laughs> or just like some hands are just like so. They're also different. Some are like delicate. Some are strong. Um. Some are like big, some are small. I don't know. Hands are just beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, now I know you are quite low fitness. Oh, wow. Uh, it's definitely not like super extreme, but you know, I definitely picked up on that over the years. And it's kind of weird that I can say that. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, over the years, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck fetish. <laughs> so we all know about these. Um, foot fetish. Um, yeah. How, how, how deep do you think the foot fetish thing goes like, as far as like, I think for some people it's super deep. I think it's so deep. I don't know why, but... Like, do you think they'd be like in public, like can't control themselves? Okay, like, no. Like, no. Depends, you know, like if it's like one of those foots that like that they tread in the Amazon <laughs> jungle and it's like a motherfucking foot. Yeah, foot. like a hobbit foot. <laughs> yeah, like they can point their pinky toe in all different directions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like them type. Of Gosh, with those nails, it is so long. Oh, oh my god, yeah, I can't do that. Cat to 
cap Cattle protrophilia. Top something like that. Yeah. Basically, it's a fascination of mirrors. Um, and watching yourself in them. That's 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 pretty erotic. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I mean, out of all of the ones we've seen so far, it's probably the most like. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It seems like very normal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people will probably have this where if they're having sex or doing something sexual, they're like watching themselves doing it. Yeah. yeah. In the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> take this mirror right here into the show. Oh, also. You know what's funny is you see that all in like movies and stuff where they have like the mirror on the ceiling at the hotel or whatever and it's like so I don't know. I can see why that sexy. would be sexy. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah, you get all different angles while you're having sex. A big turn on. I just wonder why all of these names are so hard to say. I, I don't want to walk around telling people I'm a cat <clears throat> top of trauma Philly. Like, they just going to look at me like, what am I? Yeah. Oh, this one's a good one. Maybe. Uh, sensation plane. So when I think about that, I think of like temper like temperatures. Yeah, that's kind of what it's saying. Um, or massaging, temperature play with ice cubes or candles, okay, okay. Um, tickling, that's cool. but it, it, I mean, yeah, it's kind of weird that there's a category for this because I feel like that but it makes the sense sensations, sense. like, you, know, you have tons of different sensations while having yeah, sex. Yeah. Um, I, I think it makes sense though because like a lot of, a lot of the the kinks or whatever, mm -hmm. most of them are foreplay. Yeah. And the sensation play would definitely be taking foreplay. Yeah, so it makes sense. Yeah, definitely. You can just get that one. Scene play, what is that? Um, scene play. <clears throat> Um, many kind of kinks and fetishes fall under the umbrella of scene play. Um, it's a pre-planned story including roles for you and your partner uh, to commit to during foreplay or actually having sex. So it says school teacher and not a student. So it's just like a role play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some people get really into it and they dress up and everything and they got the little outfits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, okay, we see a lot of stuff, but I don't think we see like a lot of the main stuff. Like, what are some of the stuff you've heard about like, before we even did this? Oh, you mean as far as fetishes? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. The ones that I always think of are like latex, leather, mm. and nylons, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. tights or something like that. I've heard of those. I don't know what it's called, but I heard of those ones. It's like a, basically like a. Oh. Did you look at that? It's right there. Yeah, right there. Sadism. That's what I heard of. Oh, sadism. Like people that like pain. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more of a. Inflicting that one right there, mm -hmm. but the ones I heard they like to receive. receive ow! I like ow. Which is yeah. Crazy, but, yeah. You know, I heard that. I heard of uh, the foot fetish. Um, and the main one is like. What? Uh, I know a big one is bondage, especially with like um, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and then there's this other one that just came out. I don't know, but it got 
I don't know if it just it was already made, but it got brought to my attention mm. with that. Mm. Like it, it seemed like it got big. Mm. Um. If you guys are interested, curious, or you just want to educate yourself and try some of the stuff, you know what I'm saying? And got gotcha. y'all. Yeah. In the description. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was really fun just to talk about. So. Yeah, I learned something new today. Yeah? Cool. <laughs> they should teach this in sex ed for sure. Actually, yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Just to kind of bring it to attention that, I don't know, growing up I always thought fetish was like a bad word or something, but it's really not. Yeah, just bring more light to it, but. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have an amazing day.